Hey guys, Decav13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Shield. So, in the last episode, we made our way here to Spike Muff, and we're already going to be taking on the gym. Uh, I didn't expect to be thrown into it so quickly, but hey, here we are. Um, now, according to the card we got from Marnie about Piers, the gym leader, apparently there's no Dynamax spot in this uh, town, so we're not going to be able to Dynamax during the gym fight. Gym Challenger. You want to get past me, but I don't want that. Basically, it's a battle between our desires. So I guess we're just going to be fighting a bunch of Team Yell grunts in order to get to Piers. <laughs> oh, she's Snipe Shot. I, I love that I've essentially turned Snipe Shot into a one-hit kill move. God. You and your Pokemon broke through. <laughs> yeah, we did. I don't want to let you through. That's why I was waiting. I was waiting all squeezed in this crack. Since I lost, it was really all for nothing. Whatever you won, so I guess I'll step aside. You have the Pokemon move light screen? Mr. Mime is a dancing Pokemon. Makes for a cheery member of our team. Oh wait, is Galarian Mr. Oh. Hey. There's some kind of invisible wall. You can't get through no matter how hard you try. <laughs> uh. What's this? A gym challenger made it through? All his Team Yell members blocked the way. Don't think we'll just let you waltz through. Oh, so he's you. They're using light screen to actually make a fucking barrier so we can't get past. That's that's an interesting uh, use of light screen. All right. Well, snipe shot. Uh, you know, I will never get tired of seeing this. Oh, it wasn't a one-hit kill move this time. Oh well. Man, you know, now that I'm really thinking about it, it has been a long time since we've had Tristan out for a while. I, I, I love that all of his animations are just like pointing at the enemy. I wonder what his physical attack animations look like. I mean, I'm not going to find out because I don't have any physical attacks on him. I wasn't able to properly greet you. <laughs> That was totally unbelievable. Even my Pokemon are in awe of you and your team. Here, go on through. Check out our neon signs while you're at it. <laughs> Fucking Mr. Mime. Oh, it says go on it. I'm yelling for no reason. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. Did I surprise you? I'm a little surprised how much my legs hurt from that landing. If I stand like this for too long, it'll hurt so bad I might cry. So I'll shake it off with a battle. <laughs> you jumped out of a second story window, you dumbass. What did you think was going to happen? I forgot that my, uh, Inteleon is kind of physically frail. He doesn't mind his defense after all. <laughs> I lost my leg pain's back, so it's a double shock. <coughs> oh, I know leg pain all too well. 
get that at work every day. Well, it's true that I lost, but I pushed through the pain, so you should praise me for that. All right, now that the pain's gone, I guess I better get out of here. <laughs> All right, guys. What's this? A Max Revive. Another Mr. Mime. The HP of your Pokemon not looking so good. Holy shit. I practiced that backhand spring so much, even a pop star would be jealous of those moves. Were you surprised? Oh, I'd be surprised, you. Well, you're in utter shock. I'm going to sneakily win this battle. <laughs> oh, man. Weavile. Shard, I resist that. Crit. <laughs> Seriously, you gotta be kidding. It's over already? What? <laughs> I should have been practicing my battle skills, not my backflip skills. Thanks for showing me that. Guess I'll cheer for you from now on. Run mime. Team Yell takes the field. This might be the, gy the gym challenge, but I want you to ruin our cool secret hangout. Alright, time for a pincer attack. We'll do whatever it takes to win. Oh. Ah, I never have time to get my disguise ready. <laughs> oh yeah, he's not wearing his shit. That's right, Team Yellow's actually made it up of Spike Myth gym, tra <laughs> Spike Myth gym trainers. So that's what it all is. Team Yell Grunt and Gym Trainer Joshua. So yeah, they're they're just the gym trainers going out to support their uh, their leader's little sister. Oh, that's adorable. Man, these guys are great. <laughs> so he's bug dark now. I mean, poison dark. I'm gonna use leech life on the lipard. Of course he crit. And poisoned. <laughs> oh, badly poisoned. Yippee. I'm gonna have to heal that poison. After battle, of course. Alright, the shell bell. God, look at his fucking stat. Scentus Scorch is fucking stacked, dude. Would have been better if you just lost to us. Did I lose as a member of Team Yell, or was I beaten as a gym trainer? <laughs> Ugh, whatever, our le gym leader's up next, but he's really strong, got that? I mean, everybody already already knew the true identity of Team Yell, right? Th that means I won't get in trouble for not getting my disguise on, right? Oh, I sure hope so. <laughs> Man, you guys really are idiots. Uh, no, these guys are great. 
I appreciate the gym trainers are so supportive of their leader and their leader's sister. Shit, that's right, I'm out of antidotes. Thank god I got 40 full heals. <laughs> Man. Hey, Marnie. Shut your gob. Oh, Jane. Uh, I'm really sorry. The lot from Spikemuth's telling me they locked down the city for my sake. Spikemuth just keeps getting worse and worse. And all Piers says is don't worry. So we decided to disguise ourselves as Team Yell and sabotage the other challengers. We thought if we could stop the other gym challengers from reaching the gym, then Miss Marnie would be the only one to win and make it to the Champion Cup. And we figured that'd increase the chances of our wonderful Miss Marnie becoming the new champion. That's no way to help someone at all. Jane, you don't need to bother with all the preparations or whatever. Go on in and face the gym leader. Oh, well, there's Piers. Well, I may as well, uh... I think I'll just put Toki out front. Then I'll have, uh, Dream Weaver close behind. I'm looking for a Pokemon trade. How about your Obstagoon for my Cantonian Mr. Mime? Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's how you get a Canto Mr. Mime. here, huh? See, I'm... I'm really not a great gym leader. I figured that's why nobody was coming to challenge me. I have good ears, so I overheard the whole thing about the city being shut up. When I was alone, it was like my soul was weeping. This is a simple gym stadium. We can't even Dynamax our Pokemon, but... Well, I still hope you enjoy the battle. You seem like a pretty nice guy. Now then. I'm the gym leader of Spike Myth. Pierce, the dark type user. You want to challenge me even though you know you'll lose? Then the song's for you, foolish trainer. Get ready for a mosh pit with me and my party. Spike Myth, it's time to rock. I guess we get a different little uh, song for his gym. Not the standard one. Everyone cheer on my Pokemon. Let's do it, Scrafty. Intimidate the opponent. Oh, that, that's a that's a really cool way to segue into intimidate. I really like this gym. Malamar's gonna mess you all up with its contrary ability. I like how he intros all of his Pokemon. Well, so much for contrary. Obstagoon. Time to meet another member of my crew. Face the proud high roar of my Obstagoon. Oh, does it have roar? It's just gonna roar me out. Oh, it's gonna use Shadow Claw. <laughs> it's pretty 
cool gym theme. Ever's last Pokemon, I think. Skuntank. I'm going to Dreamweaver for this one. I don't get. I don't do all course. Get it? Not songs. Not moves. Not Pokemon. Everyone's gonna stink, but who cares? Ghost Gun Tank, use your sucker punch and toxic. Yeah, this is last mom. Screech. All right, he's probably gonna go for yeah, sucker punch. Ho oh, ho! Just barely lived. Oh, Aftermath takes me out, though. Uh, Pyrrhic victory. Well. <laughs> no Pokemon on my side. Me and my team gave it our best. Let's meet up for a battle again sometime. Should be collapsed. Well, the mic did. I'm glad we were able to battle. Seems like my Pokemon feel the same way. Use your dark badge. One badge left. That's Raihan. Oh, everyone's crying. Catch Pokemon to level 55. Here's a uniform, too. I've actually been thinking about just selling them at my concerts. My little sis Marnie is going to challenge me next, I bet. That was actually kind of sweet. So you were watching, sis. You won't learn anything from seeing me lose. I was watching your battle, bro. It's how I learned to battle and all that. That right. That reminds me, Marnie. There's something I wanted to tell you. I want you to take over the gym here in Spikemouth as its gym leader. Yeah, I know. You'd plan to retire after the championship cup, after the champion cup, right? I think you've really become a great gym leader, even if you don't Dynamax your Pokemon. I love you, but my answer is a big fat no. I mean, when I when I end up becoming a champion, I won't be able to be a gym leader. Aw. Good point. In that case, let your big bro see if you have the skill to be a champion. Hey Jane, thanks for having an amazing Pokemon battle with my brother. It's my turn next, so, just, so clear off for a bit, okay? Aww. You seriously beat Piers? Here, TM to remember this moment. Snarl. <clears throat> hey, there's some big trouble over on Route 9. It's so bad even the champions come to sort things out. Oh hey, Pier you gave Piers a thrashing, didn't you? You should come over there to help. Come on then. I'll show you the way. The hell's going on in Route 9? Even Leon's having trouble with it. Jane, thanks for coming, but I've got a handle on this. Whatever's making that noise, I'll see to it. I already told you, didn't I? Keep your eye on the goal. And for you, that's winning the gym challenge. The only badge left is the one you'll get from the Dragon Gym's leader, Raihan, right? Raihan is the only trainer out there I consider a real rival. He's that good, you know. There I go again. Sorry, but I suppose this is no time to be stopping for a chat. There's a bit more trouble here with my name on it. 
but you don't you worry about a thing. The unbeatable champion is here to look after things and keep you all safe. Came from the tunnel, wouldn't you say? Seems I'm about to have a champion time. Well, I mean, I'm going over there too, Leon. I'll leave those guys be for now. What's this? The earth is shaking. Maybe if I try to sway in the same way. Nope, not helping. <laughs> A wild Dynamax Pokemon? Oh. That's not good. Hey, Hop. Jane! This is mad. You know what I mean? What was that loud noise? That's what I'd like to know. That noise. It was like some massive explosion. There was this huge surge of red light, and then wild Pokemon just started Dynamaxing around me, brazen as you like. Could it be with that... Honestly, was it that, uh... That explosion at the power plant we heard with Sonya before? Take a look at the news. What the hell is Rose doing? See, there's Lee. He really is the greatest, right? Lee and his Charizard took down that, down that Dynamax Pokemon in the blink of an eye. I knew Lee was strong, but this really makes you appreciate how great he is, eh? Let's go meet up with him, Jane. He should be at Hammerlock Stadium. Hey, PV up. Ooh, we can go under the bridge. It's a berry tree. Safety goggles. Lum Hondu Kelpsy. Grappa berry. Pomeg and a grappa. Alright, I'll leave it at that. I'll always take more lumberries. I guess I should battle these guys. Ooh, a TM. Assurance. Let's have Dreamweaver out front. Gentleman Caden. Ooh, a dub blade. Oh, I want to catch one of those so bad. Aegis Slash was the coolest fucking Pokemon from Gen 6. Right, it doesn't have Levitate. It has no guard. I forgot about that. Uh-oh. God damn it. Oh, I didn't mean to use crunch, I meant to... Oh, god damn it, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. How the hell do I fuck that up? Oh, cool aerial ace. Oh, you have three Pokemon. Simeon. That's normal fighting, so... I'll go into Yumi.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh boy. Just glad it wasn't an iron ball. <laughs> Poltygeist. Oh, Tristan. I actually got the special defense down on it. Nice. Stay at this lady's camp. Might as well use it to heal up. Look at all those purrs. Look at all those alo. <gasps> Look, there's an Alolan meowth. And a re and a Cantonian meowth as well. All right, let's let's cook up some food for our Pokemon. I'll use three Kelpsies, four Palm Eggs, two Aguavs, and a Wiki. Should be an interesting taste. Pecha, Pecha, Pecha. And my mess of garbage. <laughs> and some salad. Let's see how it turned out. Sweet salad curry. Ooh, it's sparkling. Brilliant little Maragnar is the best. She gives me berries that she's found when we camp together. Do your Pokemon do that? Huh. I guess that's what she calls one of her meowths. Maragnar. Interesting name, but okay. Alright. I mean, we're only half an hour in, so we might, we might be challenging two gym leaders in one episode. I don't know, why am I going to the Pokemon Center? <laughs> Having a 10 Pokemon team. Oh, that's right. Do we unlock anything new at the uh, shop? 
Max potions, max repels, and that's it. Any good TMs? Mega Punch, Mega Kick, Thunder Fang, Ice Fang, Weather, Fire Fang, Weather Ball, Weather Ball, Grassy Terrain, Misty Terrain, Electric Terrain, Psychic Terrain. Huh. Half damage from Dragon type Pokemon for five turns, or from Dragon type moves. That's an interesting one. Let's see, I wonder, is Hop going to be waiting for us? If so, I kind of want to go to the wild area first. Because there is a new area we can go to there. Oh, there's Leon and Sonya. Uh, yeah, let me go to the wild area real quick. So I want to go to that last area we haven't been able to get to yet. <clears throat> now since we can ride our bike on the water, we actually reach new uh, raid duns as well. That's just a clang. For some reason I thought it was a cling clang. Yeah, there's a double blade that spawns around here. Alright, anything cool in the water? Banalite. Lake of Outrage. I saw that sparkly. Come on. Big pearl. Oh god. No, pit, pit. Get the item. Focus Sash. Go Lurk. Buy Sharp. I remember reading about this place. You can get all the evolutionary stones here. They, they, they just respawn here. That, that's fucking amazing. I'm, I'm so glad they do this. I never had a Firestone before. There's a Kling Clang. <gasps> a Ditto! I'm gonna need that. Oh, it's a very strong looking Ditto. Never mind. What level is this Ditto? 57. Point taken. I guess I'll just gather the evolution stones for now. Water stone. Leaf stone. Should get an ice stone too, right? Yeah, there we go. Ice stone. There should be some way to get a... <gasps> a, a wild glaceon! Oh, that's so cool. Just, just a wild glaceon. Hey, boy. Cling clangs. A lot of cling clang. Oh, God. Bye, Sharp. An avalug. An assault vest. There must be some way for me to be able to get a. Now I wonder if I were to go into the grass. Oh, there's so many fucking Pokemon though. Oh. Oh, a dub blade. Oh, this one I can actually fight. And try to catch. Yeah, why, why am I bothering to fight this thing with a uh, Dreamweaver? <sighs> I'm a goddamn idiot. It's, I'm gonna do it every fucking time, too. Say, uh, I'll, I'll use Tristan. Oh, let me try hitting it with Dark Pulse. This won't kill it, will it? It does. Damn it. Damn it. Dreamweaver is about to level up too.
Berserker. So many steel types over here. I appreciate that Toki's remembering the first time I met me, but uh, now's not exactly the best time for that, Toki. I'm at 10,000 watts. Alright, let me, uh... Let me actually go and do the real reason I'm here. I wanted to go to the watch shop. Or the watch trader. Because I know one of them has, uh... One of them should have Dazzling Gleam. I could also pick up Shadow Ball for, uh... For Yumi. Although I think I'd rather keep Hex and just go for, uh... What is it? Ice Beam with her. There's a watch trader over here, right? There is. <laughs> Let's see, Psych psychic fangs. It also destroys various like white screen reflect. Power whip. Shit, some good ass moves over here. Kind of tempted to use the brothers, but I'm sure that I'll get nothing good from it. What's this? Oh, it's a charger bug. Alright, uh... Let me check out this place. Dragon Dance. I guess they change their wares every day. Well, at least I can get Ice Beam. So I'll get that. And then I'll just give that to Yumi. Would have been nice to have, uh... What is it? It would have been really nice to have... <coughs> Dazzling Gleam for Dreamweaver, but oh well. I think Dazzling Gleam goes for like 8,000 anyway, so... Fucking whatever. Since I don't have enough for it now, might as well just go over to the Digging Duo. Now I should show you guys something. Last time I went to the Digging Duo... Look, look, look at this motherfucker. Six, 16 treasures he got. 16. How, how fucking insane is that? Dude dug up 16 things. I doubt I'll be able to continue that streak, but, uh, I mean, I'll use both and see what happens. You know, when it comes to stamina, you're the best. And quality of items as well, actually. A rare bone. A fossilized drake. Alright, well, you severely disappointed me this time. A hard stone. An icy rock. A rare bone. A fire stone. A damp rock. A stardust. An everstone. A float stone. A lagging tail. A stardust. A soft stand. A star piece. Shit. A water stone. A soft sand. A hard stone, oh my god. A hard stone. A dusk stone. 17, well, you beat your brother. Congratulations. As soon as I bring up the fucking 16, he, he fucking outshines his brother immediately. God damn. Uh. Alright, I might as well just use items. Oh, I got another shiny stone. Oh, right, I got that from the, uh... Never mind, I'm, I'm fucking retarded. I forgot I got that from the rocks. Now, 
not just use an orange berry for that. I'm not gonna waste a potion for one HP. <laughs> oh right, no, I meant to use that. All right, so let's go back to hammer, lock, hammer lock. I almost said hammer fell again. I don't know why I have Skyrim on the brain. Over here. What's going on, guys? Well, if it isn't Jane. I'd expect nothing less from you and your Charizard, Leon. You took down that Dynamax Pokemon in no time at all. Well, I am the unbeatable champion, after all. What's going on here? An overflowing red light. Pokemon Dynamaxing without a power spot? Yeah, but why? I'm not sure. What's going on? That red light could suddenly appear again at any time, and we have no way of knowing. But being able to predict such things is part of a scientist's work. Oh, hey, Professor Magnolia. We haven't seen you in a while. Gran? The chairman called for me. He wanted to know all about the Red Light's relationship to the Dynamax phenomenon. Did the chairman know anything? Nothing worth my time. The chairman's all wrapped up in fretting over the future of our energy, apparently. He's left everything to that executive lady. We just don't have enough data. That's why I want to ask you to start looking into things too, Sonia. You know more about the Darkest Day, after all. You, more, you know more than anyone about the Darkest Day, after all. Are you saying that the Red Light and the Darkest Day are connected? Hey, do you reckon there's anything we could do to help out? There must be. Thanks. I appreciate the thought. But all I could ever ask of you would be that you join me in the greatest final match ever. I'll do my part to make that happen by keeping everybody's future safe. So you just keep doing your part by winning your way through the gym challenge. Right. Of course. You're the unbeatable champion after all, eh? Gran, there's something I want to look into. You'll help me, right? Naturally. Looks like all we looks like we all know what we need to do. See you two. Clear the gym challenge so we can meet again at the Champion Cup. I know what I need to do. All right, defeat that Piers once and for all. You're off to Hammerlock Stadium, yeah, Jane? Rihon's a tough nut to crack. Raihan's next, huh? You know what? I mean, we're only 43 minutes in, but I think I'll just save that for the next episode, honestly. So in the next one, we'll go challenge Raihan for our final gym badge. See you guys then. Bye!